another lecture in the series of transducers, ultrasound transducers, also known as probes, scan heads, or scanners. This series discussing the basic components of the transducers, the non-imaging transducers, and imaging transducers. And here in this part, we are discussing the imaging transducers. And we have the mechanical and annular array, one, one group, array 1D transducers, like the face array, linear array, curvilinear, and tightly curved array. And the array 1.5 one, one or 1.5D transducers, also array 2D transducers. And lastly, we'll discuss the 3D and 4D imaging transducers or techniques. So here in this lecture, we'll discuss the 1.5D or 1.5D transducer and the 2D transducer. So in, to discuss the difference between the 1D, 1.5D, and 2D transducers, these are the numbers that we mentioned, 1 or 1.5 or 2. These numbers are talking about the arrangement of the active elements. It's not talking about the image. In the imaging, if we talk about the imaging, we have 2D imaging and 3D imaging, right? But when you talk about the transducer design, this is the design of the transducer, we have three categories. We have the 1D array transducers, we have the 1.5D array transducers, and we have the 2D array transducer. So we are talking about what in here, in this lecture, we'll talk about the design of the active elements, how they are designed inside the transducer in one row or two rows or three rows or multiple rows. Okay, so uh, 1D transducers or 1D array transducer, this is one single row. <clears throat> one single row means what? is only divided in one layer. If we talk about 1.5D transducer, they are multi-row, sometimes called matrix, okay? So multi-row or matrix transducers, these are transducers that have several rows, okay, besides having columns. So 1D having only one row of columns. 1.5D, they have multiple rows of columns. Okay, and these multiple rows, they are limited, for example, like seven or ten rows. The two-day array transducers means that they have the same number in columns and same number in rows. So we have several rows. The number of the rows is very close to, to that of the columns. Let's do this in some details. So look at this. This is here the one-day 1D array transducer. It's a single row transducer. Okay, so if you look at here, this is the active elements. It, it starts by like a slab, and this slab is cut via some accurate cutting way, and they divide this in one direction. So I'm having columns only, one row of columns, and that's what we call 1D array transducer. One row, one row of columns. There are columns multiple columns, these columns, each one is representing one of the active elements. So I'm having an array of, for example, uh, 128. So 128 columns or 128 active elements. So this is the one array transfers. This group is actually including all the conventional or all the uh, common transistors that we are using in the ultrasound imaging currently, nowadays. For example, you have the phase array, phase array transducer, like this one, okay? So this is here, the phase array transducer. Also, it includes the, the linear and the curvilinear. These two are also examples of the 1D array transducers. Also, this group includes the tightly curved or the endovaginal probes. So, Again, all the transducers that we are using are famous, okay? They are commonly used, and they are famous transducers, and they, include, they are gathered in one group, which is called the 1D array transducer. Okay, what is the characteristic that is 
uh, that is like uh, a common common feature for all the array transducer that the the uh, slice thickness or the elevation resolution is achieved via a mechanical way. So there is a mechanical focusing or a mechanical method, mechanical technique for focusing the slice thickness or elevational, or sometimes it's called the, uh, the uh, volume averaging or the partial volume or the uh, uh, what you call uh, the Z axis or uh, out of plane. All these are synonyms for the same thing, which is the elevation resolution. So elevation resolution here is uh, achieved or is better focus via a mechanical way. Mechanical way means what? Okay, either they put an active an, uh, an acoustic uh, lens or cutting the PCTs in a curved pattern. Either way, I will get what we call mechanical focusing for the single row or 1D array transverse. Okay, so we are done with this, guys. Now we move to the next one. The next one is only one member and this is called the 1.5D array transducer, sometimes called multi-row, sometimes uh, some people call it the matrix transducer, but usually the matrix transducer is given to this 2D array transducer. But anyway, if you see this, usually it's called the multi-row or 1.5D array transducer. What happens here? We have multiple rows of, of columns. So we have here many columns, and usually they are like 128, columns okay, or uh, 256 if they are double the number. So these are the, the columns that are represented here in, in, in this one and 1.5D transducer, multiple rows. So we have multiple rows of columns. So you see here, we have multiple rows. This is different from one row like this one. Okay, so these are here, multiple rows, and this is the 1.5D uh, array transducer. Why we don't call it 2D? Because we have cutting direction here. This is one, right? But here we have also a cutting plane that, or cutting of the, not cutting plane, I mean, a cutting uh, slab. And this is less in number compared to the, with that one. So that's why you call it one and a half. One and a half. That's why you call it one and a half or 1.5D transverse. Okay. What is, the, what is the best thing to know about this transducer? This is the best transducer to achieve uh, a good or perfect, actually, uh, slice thickness resolution. Another term, elevation resolution. Another term, uh, uh, out of plane. Or another term, Z axis. And another term is volume averaging or partial volume. All these are synonyms for the elevation resolution. Okay. So what is the famous thing that we need to remember about the 1.5D that slight thickness eleva elevation or elevation resolution is achieved electronically via the one and a half or 1.5D transverse. All right. So slight thickness here is achieved electronically. Slight thickness here in the one 1D array transducer is achieved but Mechanical. So mechanical focusing for the elevation resolution. Here electronic focusing for the elevation resolution. Now we go to the 2D array transducer. 2D array transducer. Here make sure that you know the difference between 2D array transducers, meaning that we are talking about the design of the array, okay, and the 2D imaging. 2D imaging, this is a different story. We are not talking about here about 2D imaging. We are talking about the array, the design of the array, the design of these active elements. And sometimes it's called the matrix, matrix probe or the 2D array probe. What is, how, what's the difference between this and this here? Okay, the number of rows is limited, usually like seven, 10, 15 rows maximum. But when you come here to the 2D, the number of columns is almost the same as the number of rows. Number of columns usually between 50 to 100. Some, some people say it probably much more, but let's assuming that is 100, okay? So I'm having 100 columns and 100 rows. That's why you call it what? 2D, so because they are equal. The number of columns 
and the number of rows is the same. That's why you call it 2D transducer. We're not talking about imaging, we're talking about the transducer. Again, 2D transducer is different from the 2D imaging, okay? So what, what is this transducer is, is used for? Usually, this is the perfect one for uh, electronic steering of the 3D imaging. Okay, we'll talk, come to this uh, later on in the next uh, next, power, uh, next PowerPoint or next video. We'll talk about the 3D and 4D imaging. But uh, let's no, talk now about the design of the transducer here, uh, the design of the active elements. We call it the 2D array transducer. Okay, now we go here for steering. All these transducers are having electronic steering. Steering means what? Creating uh, the, the scanning plane. Creating the scanning plane, the, the, uh, the sound beam will go from here to here, means side to side, from the far end of the right to the far end of the left through electronic steering. Okay, so these are here electronic steering. It could be like phasing or sequential, but both are electronic. So all the 1D transducer that we are using, the electronically sealing the beam from one side to side. This is either by phasing or sequencing. Okay, so 1D transducer, steering, electronic. 1.5D array transducer, steering, also electronic, okay? 2D array transducer, steering is electronic. So all these, the two transducers, this one or this one or this one, they are steering the beam electronic. Now we come to the focusing. For the lateral resolution, again, electronic focusing. Okay. That resolution is all the time electronic focusing and the array transducer. I'm talking about array transducer. Lateral resolution is electronic focusing. What is the benefit of electronic focusing? We mentioned before, I can get more than one focus. We're having multiple focusing. This one thing. Second thing, I can adjust the focal uh, points. I'm, I might have them close to the far field, close to the near field, in the midway. I might have like more than one focal point, so I can get multiple focal points adjustable. Adjustable means that I can make them either shallower or deeper. Okay. So this is the the uh, focusing for the lateral resolution. So now we come here to the main difference or the one that will make me differentiate between 1D array and the 1.5 and 2D array transducer. This is what the elevational resolution. I mentioned this before, in the, like a couple of slides before. Okay, the, the elevation or slide thickness or partial volume or volume averaging. Again, these are, I'm repeating this many times. These are the names or the synonyms for the Elevation or slight thickness resolution. Again, this is in the 1D transducer is focused by what? Mechanical. Mechanical by what? Acoustic lens or uh, 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 or the uh, like cutting the the the, the PZTs in the curved path. Okay. So this is the commonest one. They put an acoustic lens. For what? For the one and a half D. For the 1D, I mean, okay? This is the 1D transducer here, right? 1D transducer, we have the mechanical focusing for the elevation. Example here, this is an example of the scanning plane for the 1D transducer. What we have here, the elevation resolution is achieved in one single fixed focal point. And this is the, the, the outcome when you add the acoustic lens. You get only focusing in one point in the active in the slide thickness, and this one point is a single point and is uh, not adjustable, so I cannot get it shallower or deeper. It's, that's here, and it will stay here for life. So you can't make it shallower or deeper. Okay. So, but when we come to the 1.5D or the 2D array transducers, what happens here? The electronic focusing is the one to focus the, uh, the uh, elevation resolution. What is the benefit of electronic focusing? The benefit that you can get multiple focal points and you can get the, the, the scanning plane is focused from top to bottom, all of it focused electronically and you get multiple focal points along the whole depth of the picture from 
top to bottom, you get multiple focal points, not for the lateral resolution. We are not talking about lateral resolution. We are talking about the elevation resolution. Elevation resolution, you get the, the slice thinned out, thinned down from the top to the bottom of the image, okay? And you have this, like, and this is actually the best slice thickness elevation you can have it right now by the 1.5D or actually also the 2D transverse. Both are bringing a good uh, slide thickness resolution. So how the image looks like with each one of these transducers, or group of transducers. The 1D transducers, like I mentioned earlier, these are the phase array, the linear, the curvy linear, Okay, all the transducers that we are commonly using, including also the endovaginal transducer. All of these are having a slice thickness that is focused in a single level only, in a, in a specific level, which is the level of the slice thickness focusing, which is achieved again by mechanical. So here the image is good at the only at the level of the of the mechanical focus for the elevation resolution okay how about the 1.5d 1.5d or one and a half d is now providing the whole thickness of the image from top to bottom is thinned so i'm having here the cutting slice or the the the, the slice thickness sometimes called the sectional thickness okay or the elevation resolution or whatever the section or the thickness of the section that the transducer is getting out from the tissues is a thin section is a thin slice and this brings me a best elevation resolution from top to bottom of the image so again here this is the best all over the whole image this is here best in the uh, at the level of the act of the mechanical focusing okay the same story goes to the to the array transducer because actually it, it brings me several scanning planes but each one is having a very good elevation resolution so this is also the 2d what is about adding things for the 2d also the 2d is uh, is famous for bringing me I can use it for 3D and 4D imaging, but this is through the electronic sweeping because in the coming uh, lecture, we'll talk about the 3D and 4D and we'll know something called the sweep. So the sweep here is electronic, okay? So synonyms again for the elevation resolution, I just wanted to memorize this wise, okay? So slide thickness, sometimes called sectional thickness also, Partial volume, volume average, z-axis, or out of plane, all of these are synonyms for the, act, for the uh, elevational resolution. Thank you, and I wish that we'll be like, clearing some points for you. And see you later, the, the last lecture, which in the, uh, will be the uh, 3D and 4D imaging. See you then.